So up here we have our, this is our grid and our nudge values. Right now we have our grid set to quarter notes. Obviously if I change this, you'll see that the, the grid gets larger or smaller. Same thing with our nudge. I can put my nudge on say quarter notes and I'll set up a quarter note grid and whatever region I select, I can use the key commands. It's the plus and minus on the, the number pad and you'll see that that will nudge any region forward or backwards in time. Very, very handy. And uh, last but not least, I'm just gonna slide this over a little bit so we can see the whole thing. And there you will see our transport. You notice pre-roll and post-roll. Uh, that's where I can start to record and it'll actually give me a little bit of time before you can set it up to where it's a bar. So every time I hit play, it's actually gonna go back one bar. And every time I hit stop, it'll actually continue to go on for one bar if you wanna set that up. Uh, again, there's your start and your end times. That's basically connected to your main counter. It's the same information that we're looking at. We have MIDI section right here. We have a couple of buttons on here. We've already talked about our click track. So if we wanna hear a metronome, so there you can hear the metronome. I can toggle that metronome on or off by having that. You remember we created the click track, which is fine. Uh, this is wait for MIDI. This, is, this happens to uh, wait for note. If I have this on and I hit record on a MIDI track, it won't actually start recording until I hit a note on my keyboard. That's kind of a cool feature. This is really important as well. We have MIDI merge. If you have set up a cycle, and let's say on the first pass of a two bar loop, you play the kick and the snare, and then as it loops around, you wanna add the hi-hats. If you don't have MIDI merge on, it's gonna overwrite what you've just recorded. With MIDI merge on, as it cycles around, it adds to the same region you've just recorded. So keeping that in line. And then we have something called a conductor track. The conductor track is basically how we can do tempo changes. If we wanted to change the tempo of our song, what I can do is create a tempo map. So up here, we can customize a lot of different options in our sort of bar ruler or, or main ruler up at the top. I can turn all of these on and you'll see you have uh, bars and beats, which is by default always on. Can't really turn that off. Uh, you have minutes and seconds and samples. So it's really displaying a lot of the same information you see in your main counter, but it's actually attached to your timeline. Just below that, you have tempo, meter, key, chords, and markers. Now, I don't utilize all of these, so I normally don't have them all on. It's very rare that I'm gonna be changing the meter in, in middle of the song. Now, you can change, you can you know, use this to create these types of, of, like if you're starting a song, you know you're gonna be working in three, four time, uh, or you know, five, eight time, you can come in and, and adjust your, your meter that way but it would just be that for the entire song. But if you needed to change, this is where you're gonna do it. So for instance, right now, my tempo says 120. What I can do is change my tempo here. I can also do tempo changes. So at this section of my song, it could uh, speed up or slow down. If that's how you're gonna do it. You can also delete that. We can grab our pencil tool and let's do lines. So I can start from here and go down and end up at say 67 beats per minute and you can see all of that information that's been transmitted. So our, our song would basically be slowing down all the way down to 67 beats per minute. That's the way we're gonna use it. Again, you don't have to use this. You can come in here and double click or, or raise or lower your tempo this way you know what, if you're not gonna be using any kind of tempo changes, if you're just gonna use one set tempo through the whole thing, you can take your conductor track off. It says manual tempo now, and now I can just go down here on my transport and type in 140 beats per minute. That's great.